If only I can just get to Las Vegas, then I really could get fit and healthy. That's not a phrase you hear very often, but among the bright lights of America's most excessive city could lie our technological salvation. We use technology for everything. We use it in, in our appliances, in our cell phones, in our computers. Um, health and fitness is such an important part of our lives. It just makes sense. I'm a hiker, I'm a camper, I'm a sailor. I travel around the world. I love that, that's my life. This allows me to do everything, and I do it by myself. All right, Mr. DeMille, I'm ready for my close-up. At the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, the world is getting a close-up look at some pretty amazing health and fitness technology. We've had fitness trackers that log your activity for a couple of years, but now think of an ailment or a part of the body, and there's someone here who wants to gadgetify it. So it's got 12 electrodes on the back. Like this device, which will tell you how fat bits of your body are. Now, how much body fat do you have? 3%. 3%? <laughs> yes. So there are pints of milk going around with more body fat than That's more correct. fat than you. That's <laughs> 3%? Yes, sir. And what do you think I've got about? Uh, five. Five. <laughs> <laughs> I like this chap. In many cases, they're exploiting the processing and connectivity of smartphones, like this ECG heart monitor. It's really quite comfortable. It can send real-time data to your doctor. So you don't have to make a doctor's appointment. You know, you don't have to go through the, the process of calling up and making an appointment with a doctor and getting hooked up to this device. You know, you basically strap this, you wake up in the morning, you strap this on, it's really comfortable. You, you don't even really even see it. Um, and, you know, you're doing something good for your health. The transmitter picks up this value and sends it to my receiver. I can show where I was, that was breakfast, that was lunch. That constant monitoring and connectivity is transforming diabetic care as well. The next generation of glucose monitors could liberate millions. So many people are afraid right now and they don't know where they are. Let me tell you, little kids, their parents won't let them do sleepovers or they're afraid. They wake them up in the middle of the night to check their fingers. They get this, it'll communicate to a smartphone, mom's in the other room or mom's across town and alert the parents when their kid goes high or low. The Reebok check light is designed to be worn under a helmet or whilst playing sports. It uses a traffic light system to indicate a possible head injury. To demonstrate, I need these. Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on. Oh, you got a yellow light. Yellow. That's not what bad. Does that, what does yellow mean? That means you just tap them slightly. Oh. Now, I mean, if you're going to hit them, that'd be good. And those impacts in a yellow or red zone are the kind of impacts where you should get assessed. Even if it's just a matter of, I said, hey, David, are you doing okay? How's things going? Or it might be a little bit more of a rigorous assessment depending upon uh, what we're doing and the resources available to us. With the explosion in wearable technology that we're seeing at this show, people are taking technology to parts of the body it's never been before. Places you wouldn't necessarily expect. For example, your feet. This is a smart sock. Now, why would you want a smart sock? Let me show you. As I'm running, my foot, or at least the sock, is sending data in real time to this smartphone. Why might that be useful? Well, let's stop this and talk to one of the people behind it. He's easy to spot the only person by the pool with a plastic foot. We can capture not just how far and how fast you walk or run, but also how well you walk and run. And is that just for athletes or are there other uses? No, there are multiple uses. You can actually think about golf. You can think about fall detection for elderly patients as an example, because we detect what doctors call gait analysis which is a pattern of information of how well you land on the ground. So your socks will teach you to run and your sports equipment will be your coach. Okay, so we've got a basketball. Absolutely. What's it doing at the CES? Well, it's a digital coach, so it's what's inside the basketball that makes it interesting. There's nine sensors inside that ball. Nine sensors? Nine sensors, and it, and it measures the motion that what you're going to put into that ball when you shoot it is going to measure those forces. 
<laughs> so in the future, it seems there will be no excuse for anybody not having a body like this. Or you could do what I've done, become a robot. Now I don't have to worry about health at all. Ah, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to the buffet.